Welcome to everybody listening now to us on this luminous program. My name is Father John Mochler, priest here in Limerick Diocese in Ireland. And I welcome you to our parish church of Monegay. From where I would now like to give you a reflection on a quote from St. John's Gospel, which I feel is very important for us to understand in the times that we are living in, the condition that the world finds itself in. And it's John 16, verse 8 to 11, where the Lord is speaking about what the Holy Spirit will do as the paraclete when he comes. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. Now, when our Lord and Saviour speaks of the world here and how wrong it is on these very important points that he has made, we must understand, first of all, that the world is in constant movement. The elements that constitute the world are constantly in motion. This is the way God created the world. Uh, never granted a moment's rest. Every element of the world is constantly changing, constant movement. When he says the paraclete will convince or prove the world how wrong it is, he's pointing out people who are worldly, have a worldly mentality, a worldly way of living, and because of this way, they are like the elements that constitute the world. Constant motion, constant agitation, restlessness, never a moment's ease, uh, cannot settle peacefully. That is not God's will. And this is why he, when he points out the world, he is referring to people who have become worldly. St. Jude, in his letter, referred to people like this, when he said, these people are blemishes at your love feast, eating with you without the slightest qualm, shepherds who feed only themselves. What I want to underline, and this is what I'm going to refer to, what he re says here. They are clouds without rain, blown along by the wind, autumn trees without fruit and uprooted, twice dead. They are wild waves of the sea, foaming up their shame, wandering stars for whom the blackest darkness has been reserved forever. To explain and understand Scripture, the passage from St. John that I've quoted, because it's not clear to under, understand immediately uh, who is Jesus referring to when he says the Holy Spirit will prove them wrong about sin, about righteousness, about judgment. It's those people that St. Jude is referring to here. 
And this is why we need to be on our guard to preserve ourselves as living temples of God so that we will not be proved wrong in the end by the Holy Spirit, wrong about how we lived, wrong about what our mentality was like, what our, wrong about what our view was. God is looking for righteousness or justice, looking for love, and clearly looking for lives lived in fidelity to God's grace. Because that's why the first thing he pointed out that he named was sin. The paraclete will prove them wrong about sin. It's calling us to live in fidelity to God's grace. Now, getting back to what St. Jude wrote, uh, because this is what we must not fall into. Um, what does he mean when he says they are li like clouds without rain? You notice he has used four elements. The clouds without rain, autumn trees, wild waves, and wandering stars. These four elements are pointing to, or highlighting, four vices. First of all, pride. Secondly, avarice, greed. Third, lust. And fourthly, hypocrisy. Now, beginning with the first, these are clouds without rain. Pride, one of the seven deadly sins. Because of living in so much error, due to pride, the mind becomes spiritually dark. It's darkened by the sins. And the person, um, like the dark clouds moving along, are tossed or blown along by the wind. The wind of pride, self-love, no awareness of reliance and total dependency on God. Going from sin to sin. In the Catechism, the definition that it gives us for pride is rebellion against God. All sin is pride because all sin is rebellion against God. It is against right reason, against truth, against conscience. Because of this, there is no love of God or no love of neighbor because of a perverse attachment to some good. Now, the good can be ourselves, not necessarily money, wealth, what the world has to offer. The, the attachment can be to ourselves. What I want, what I want, enjoy, what I want to do, not God's Ten Commandments, not His will. This is pride. Now, why does he say cloud without rain? Because filled with pride, there is no room for God's grace. The cloud with rain, with water, is reference to God's life, God's grace, which comes to us and brings his new life into our soul. What St. Paul said, the Holy Spirit, spirit of love, is poured into our hearts, Romans 5. The pride, P 
people living filled with pride do not have God's spirit of love pouring down into their hearts. Hence, cloud without rain, without water, no flow of graces. Because of this, what do they lack? What many of the saints refer to as compunction. No sense of guilt, no sense of remorse, which should naturally follow wrongdoing. But they don't have any of this. And this is why when the paraclete comes, he will prove them wrong about sin. What Jesus said, because they would not believe me. They do not believe me. Yes, they do not believe him that sin, beginning with pride, is a completely wrong way to live and does not lead to happiness, does not lead to anything good. In fact, it leads to the loss of everything good. Now, the second element St. Jude refers to, the autumn trees, which I said to you um, is referring to those guilty of avarice, greed. The world is filled with it. Now, why does he use autumn trees? And again, these people will be proved wrong in the end. Um, in autumn, the wind blows and the trees are stripped of the leaves. Those greedy for riches, power, wealth, when the wind of death comes, it will strip them of all their riches. And like an autumn tree that the leaves and everything falls off of, they are fruitless. Stripped of everything, come before God, nothing to show for their time lived on earth. Hence, autumn trees without fruit, uprooted, twice dead. Very important. Why does he say twice dead? Because the life of greed and avarice leads not only to the soul being lost, uprooted from life, but also the body, eternally lost, buried in hellfire. This is what Jesus is trying to save us from. That's why in that quote of John's Gospel, he's giving the warning, um, don't let the Holy Spirit prove you wrong for having lived this unjust way. The third element, the waves of the sea, foaming up their shame, lust, the most widespread sin in the world is fornication. And like the waves that are tossed on the sea and they make the foam, those filled with lust, they, they foam with this evil because beneath it, making the diabolical suggestions to their mind, which is in constant turmoil, is the devil fueling the fire Hence, it is so widespread in the world. Our Lady said in Fatima, more go for sins of the flesh than for any other reason. And finally, one, the wandering stars, hypocrites, falls to our religion. So it, it is a call to us to live love, so show justice. What is justice? Give to God and to others what is their due. And what is due to everybody, God above all? Love, reverence, respect, honour. We love religion. We love what is good and true. But in the world you see now today, what is good is considered evil. What is evil is considered good. Total reversal of the way things should be. It will be proved wrong in the end by the paraclete. We want to be proved right, living in fidelity to God's teachings. Justice towards God and neighbour, love towards God and neighbour. Living God's commandments in humility, no greed, no lust, um, 
not like lost wandering stars. So I just want to thank everybody for listening and live in fidelity to God's message. He is calling us to eternal salvation. Do not let the ways of the world rob you of it. Amen. searching for answers? Discover your true identity. Stay tuned to Shalom World.